Welcome to the Jag War Podcast, a show where we discuss all things related to Duval County's finest NFL football team, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Duval, baby! Hey everybody, this is Andrew and welcome to episode 77 of the Jaguar Podcast. In this episode, I'm going to be discussing the signing of Cincinnati Bengals tight end, Tyler Eifert. So let's jump into it. Uh, just one second before we start though, I want to make sure everyone is you know staying safe uh, from this coronavirus craziness. Uh, if you get bored or stir crazy, come by the YouTube channel, check me out, give me a like if you enjoy uh, some of this content, um, subscribe to the channel. Uh, you know, um, leave me some feedback or a comment. You know, if you're bored, come by my Twitter channel too, at Jaguar Podcast. Uh, I'll try to entertain you uh, through this uh, crisis, but, uh, you know, stay strong. All right. So, Jaguar signed Tyler Eifert on March 24th. It was announced that this deal went down. Jags signed him to a two year, $15.5 million deal. And I really like this, man. It's uh, it's an awesome, uh, awesome signing. Um, we needed some depth at the tight end position. Um, and I like, I really like Tyler Eifert alongside uh, James O'Shaughnessy, who will be, you know, coming back and hopefully fully recovered uh, from his uh, ACL tear. Um, two really strong tight ends. Uh, we have Oliver too, Josh Oliver, who we drafted, and um, you know we'll see what happens with him. But I think the jury's still out. He's had some problems, uh, you know, with durability, and uh, <laughs> seems like he's always hurt. Um, but we'll see what happens. You know, I'm, I hope I'm hoping that he, uh, you know, has a presence next season and and uh, you know shows his value to the team. But um, you know, Tyler Eifert. Uh, I think it's a great signing. Um, you know, when you look at his stats, you know, he has 185 receptions, uh, you know, 2,152 yards and 24 touchdowns. But what I really like about this guy is his size, man. He's 6'6", 250. He's a big guy. Um, you know, he's a tree. He can kind of tower over those defensive backs, uh, throw it high, you know, and he'll catch it. Um, and he runs great routes. He could get really good separation, um, you know, uh, from defensive backs and can get open uh, and kind of overpower them. He's got great hands. Um, and I, again, like I said, uh, it's a nice duo with, you know, uh, O'Shaughnessy. Um, and I think, you know, hopefully Oliver comes back uh, this season and kind of helps support them. Uh, but, you know, one concern that I have with this signing is that, um, you know, Eifert has kind of been injury prone. He's had a couple of in injuries. Um, you know, he had an injured, uh, I think it was a dislocated elbow. He's had some back injuries. Uh, you know, he's been in the league for a while, so he's kind of getting up there in terms of his uh, his years in the league and kind of, you know, his age. But, uh, you know, I think it's a nice arsenal for... Gardner Minshew to work with. And I think honestly, and I'm just speculating, but I think, um, Jay Gruden, you know, the offensive coordinator had a lot to do with this, uh, signing. Um, you know, Jay was working with uh, Andy Dalton at the time. And I believe Eifert was on the time. Eifert was on the team rather, um, when, uh, he was there. Uh, so I think he had a kind of some influence in that decision, and, uh, you know, Andy Dalton worked well with Eifert and I feel like, uh, Gardner Minshew will work well, hopefully with, uh, uh, Tyler Eifert. So really love this signing. Um, I think it adds a lot of depth to the tight end position. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens with, you know, Seth Devolve, uh, you know, what happens kind of in the off season or maybe even in, uh, you know, in training camp, uh, with the tight end position, I don't think that we need to draft at that position. Um, some people may disagree with me on that, but uh, I, I think we're pretty solid there. Um, and uh, I'm really excited to see what happens. But let me know how you feel about this signing. Uh, leave me a comment on the uh, YouTube video or podcast episode. Subscribe to the channel. 
Uh, give me a like if you enjoyed this video or podcast episode. Uh, leave me some feedback on Apple Podcasts. That always helps me, you know, when I put together these episodes. Swing by the Twitter channel too, uh, you know, if you're if you're really bored and uh, need some entertainment. Uh, stay healthy through these crazy times. Go Jags, and I'll see you next time. On to keep their hearts racing, eating other teams live on TV front of the nation. Spectacular defensive. This episode is available on the Jaguar Podcast YouTube channel. So if you stop by, make sure to subscribe and give this video a like. Also, these episodes are available on iTunes, Podbean, Spotify, SoundCloud, Stitcher, and other major podcast distributors as well. So if you don't mind, please leave me a review and some feedback. I'd really appreciate that. If you'd like to connect with me on social media, my Twitter handle is at Jaguar Podcast. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. This is Andrew signing off. Cheers. Cheers.